I remember back to the days of second year uni and there was this young lady that Robbo would start subtly talking about. We soon found her name was Emma. This may be hard for some of you to believe, but there was actually a time when Matt was a little lost for words. This was when the two first met and they were starting to get to know each other. This was rare for Matt because he could usually talk anyone underwater. In all seriousness though, I don't think you guys could have found a better match. You're very much equal partners and have always been very loyal to one another. You both share your love for your families and each other's, your friendships, travel, and have always been by each other's side. Emma, from the very beginning, we could see you've been Robbo's biggest supporter. On behalf of everyone in this room today, we wish the both of you all the very best for the future together. Cheers to Matt and Emma. Despite being the lame younger sister, Emma has always had time for me. We have so many memories together. I was raised on hours spent with you, imagining our own love and adventure stories whilst watching every Disney movie possible, still doing that to this day, and curating our sense of humour by watching back-to-back -back episodes of The Simpsons. Well, I'm glad to see today that Milhouse has finally snagged his Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage to me isn't just about the dizzying highs or the terrifying lows. It isn't even about the big special moments like today. Marriage and love to me is a Wednesday night. It's looking forward to seeing each other after work. It's enjoying those everyday moments. It's driving in the car with your best friend, just talking. Remember to be grateful for each other as much as you can remember and to find a moment of joy in every day you spend together. So to end on that note, I ask if everyone could please hold up their glass. For a toast to the bride and to the groom from your sister who was always by your side, I love you. Finally, I would like to thank my wife, Emma. On that fateful day on the banks of the River Yar in your hometown of Norwich, I was overcome with many emotions when you said yes. Now, standing with you today, I see why. I am overwhelmed with happiness and excitement for what lays ahead of us as a married couple. You know I think you are beautiful, but today when I saw you at the end of the aisle, it gave that word another meaning. It took my breath away, and maybe some tears too, but that could have been the rain, I don't Emma, I stand before you today so excited to call you my wife. Since meeting you outside J Block on that fateful day, you have truly captured my heart. You have taught me how to care, grow and love something in this world more than cricket. <laughs> I love that you challenge me to be a better person every day because you have the greatest moral compass, ethics and values of anyone I have ever met. I promise to constantly make you laugh by any means possible. I promise to love you 
to be your best friend, to respect you and to support you, to be patient with you and to work together to architect our new life together. <laughs> I promise to offer my hands for massages when you are in pain. I promise to offer my face to satisfy your blackhead popping cravings. And I promise to be next to you in a plane, boat or sidewalk exploring new cities and countries around the world. No matter where life leads me, I know that as long as you are there, that is where I'm meant to be. I love you. Reflecting on the past 10 years and especially the last six months, we have worked in a partnership that has led us here today and I couldn't be prouder of how we've achieved it. I vow to share in all the happiness of life with you, take every opportunity to laugh freely with you or at you and nurture our relationship every day. I promise to remember that everything in life is fleeting, to live presently in the good times. I promise to share in each other's dreams and goals for the future, sift out the background noise and things that don't truly matter and hold on to the things that do to us. I promise to continue growing with you and figuring out life together as we have been on this crazy adventure for the last 10 years, making it up as we go along, supporting and enjoying it together. I give you my heart to have and to hold. <laughs> and to call home always. Matthew, as your father, I'm very proud to know you. I've had the pleasure of watching you grow from a baby into a wonderful young man. You cannot possibly know how proud I am of you and how much I love you. Look, there is no rule book given when a baby girl comes into this world. One thing they don't tell you is that daughters are an inspiration to fathers. Like, there's no reason why I would ever become a netball coach, for example. <laughs> when, you know, a daughter brings a new a boyfriend and, you know, to meet the prospective father-in-law, but Matt, you need not have worried. You had me at Green Bay Packers. <laughs> For those who don't, do not know me, I am Matt Roberts <laughs> and I have the greatest pleasure in introducing for the first time my wife, my everything, Mrs Emma Michelle Roberts. <laughs> Feels like we have been organising this day for a hot minute and I reckon we've held on to these wedding rings longer than Frodo in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> You're considerate, kind, open and honest. You stay true to your inner compass. And most importantly, you have the purest heart. 
You inspire me to be a better person. I'm so happy that we finally made it here today against all odds. And if the last few months is anything to go by with what we can achieve together, I'm so excited to spend the rest of our lives tackling whatever curveballs life throws our way. Love you heaps.